Hey children, uh, I hope you all are doing well. So today we will start the first session of history. Okay. So today our topic is when, where, and how. Now, at the beginning. So why we study history? What is the meaning of history? History is the study of the past. Now. History tells us the story of people and the events that occurred in a distant time. However, history is more than a story of people and events. Okay. Now, the word history is derived from the Greek word historia, which means finding out. So, we get to know about the society, economy, and the political life that existed during a specific period in the past. So that means from history we not only come to know about the people and different events, we come to know about the society where people lived in, how they dealt with every aspects and every situations, what was their economy, how they spent their financial aspects and all, and the political life also so history is a systematic record of events placed chronologically that means one after another properly it is also an analysis of accounts recorded by historians and chroniclers okay that is now as we come to know about uh, the history and the meaning of history now what is the importance of studying history isn't it? Naturally, this question comes up in our mind. So, let's see them one by one. First, that is, we all know that history is the study of the past. So, if the event has already occurred, then why is it necessary to learn about it? Quite naturally, this question comes up. So, history provides us a window into the past. Not only do we learn about the past, but we also learn how things evolved and transformed over time. Okay, so second we have, it gives us the wisdom to learn from the past. That is, it gives us wisdom to learn from the past. So naturally, we not only come to know about the things that evolved and all, so we also uh, get wisdom how we can develop ourselves from the past uh, history, past events that took place and all those things. Okay. Next we have, that is, it gives us an understanding of the present and in turn leads us to make better choices for the future. So quite naturally children, if we don't understand the past, then we cannot relive in the present. And if we cannot understand the present, if we cannot live the present, then we cannot uh, make better choices, better developments, better aspects for the future. So quite naturally, we need to understand the our past events. Only then we can relate it to our present and we can develop ourselves into different aspects. Okay. Now, history has enabled humans to think about the consequences of their actions prior to acting on it. Now, for examples, like uh, history has taught us that nothing good comes out of war or that democracy is a better choice of governance than dictatorship. So, by this way, uh, we humans can think about the consequences of the uh, different action that can be, uh, that is happening or that we are supposed to act upon it. Okay. So, if we relate in the history, past historical events, so we can easily understand what can be the consequences of different good things or different bad things. Okay. Now, as we learn about the different, uh, in different importance of studying history, so uh, we come up into the next part that is history has been divided into three time periods. Okay, first that is prehistory, proto-history and history. Now, one question naturally comes up that why there is a need of time periods in history? Okay. So, what is the reason behind it? So, 
history is vast basically therefore segregating events into time frames simplifies understanding of history now dividing into different time periods combine historical events that have occurred in the same time frame and it would probably have similar characteristics now we also know that history is also a study of change isn't it so therefore these broad divisions highlight the changes taking place in a particular time period all right now another important uh, valid reason for dividing history into different time periods could be to accommodate the changing patterns in the society understood the grouping of events in different periods also reflects how the past is understood and the significance of change from one period to another okay so let's study the first one and that is the prehistory period now the prehistory period it is the period when writing was not invented so basically we can relate it to the uh, early man age that period of time and so as writing was not invented so we don't have any written records for this period okay so how we come to know about all this archaeological sources such as stone tools and fossils help us to know about this period so we come to know about, uh, about this period from different stone tools and the fossils now for example we know about dinosaurs with the help of their fossils isn't it so we haven't seen a dinosaurs uh, uh, in front of us and all so quite naturally from these fossils only we come to know that a uh, uh, creature named dinosaur was there among us okay so next we have that is the proto history period now a uh, difference between prehistory and proto history is that in the proto history period writing was developed okay so writing was developed in this period that is limited uh, that's why limited written records and some are yet to be deciphered that means only few written records are available of this uh, time period and most of them are yet to be deciphered so uh, that is those writings couldn't be translated into our own language and all okay same way we come to know about this period most of this period most of this time period uh, from archaeological sources okay for example the indas valley script is a pictographic script that is yet to be deciphered pictographic there that means we have the uh, uh, photos of the indas valley uh, thing indas valley civilization and all those things okay so we don't have so many of written records only few of them uh, most of them we can understand by the pictures and all understood next we have that is the history so uh, basically out of this three this period is a bit developed version all right the period after the invention of writing okay so there are deciphered written records available for this period that mean these uh, the writings in this period were what uh, translated into our own language now early writings was done on leaves clay and copper tablets rocks pillars etc so th those writings were engraved and those writings were not like uh, the abcd they tried to write in their own way in their own language with symbols and all signs first and slowly slowly there was improvisation from uh, uh, the humans itself and they tried to write in their own way okay both archaeological and literary sources are available for this period now a large amount of literature is available which is supplemented with the archaeological sources for example our rig veda gives us information on the rig vedic age so basically this history period is a bit developed version so where uh, writing was invented and still we have um, a number of documentation about this period okay so i hope this session helped you a lot See you in the next session. Bye-bye.